Welcome back, geometry students. This is for Geometry IXL, 6U area of sectors. So if you've been working um, along with me so far, we have been talking about the radius of a circle. We've also talked about the area of a circle. We talked about the arc measure of the circle or a part of a circle. Way back when, we talked about part over whole. So in theory, what you're looking for in this measure is the part or the part of the sector over the whole sector times your area. And IXL wants you to leave it in terms of pi, so that is what we are going to do today. So this is going to be your overall formula. So what part? 135 over the whole amount. Well, what is the area of a circle? 360 times the area that you have found. We've been working with that area formula ever since we were like in seventh and eighth grade. So use that same formula that you have so far. Also, it's going to be nice and easy if you have your calculator with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. It says find the area of the sector. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to find the area of the circle. So if you recall back then, area equals pi times radius squared. Keep this in terms of pi. So therefore, area is going to be equal to area, or excuse me, pi times 4 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16 pi. So this is going to be our area that we're going to use. Now let's go ahead and do our part over whole. So what is the part of the measure? 135. What is the degree of the entire circle completely filled? 360. So we're going to have 135 divided by 360 times, remember our formula, 16 pi. And IXL wants to keep pi as part of the answer. So let's just go ahead and grab our calculator and put this measure in. So if you have 135 divided by 360, enter your command. And let's go ahead and times that by 16, keeping it in terms of pi. My answer is going to be 6 pi, 6 pi it is. Let's go ahead and enter that into our IXL. 6 pi, keeping it in terms of pi, my answer is correct. So um, as you continue to work on U6, remember what we talked about, part over whole. You've learned that since middle school, times the area, keep your answer in terms of pi. Keep your answer in terms of pi. I hope this helps. I'm going to go ahead and do a few more. If you feel confident in what we've done today, go ahead and stop the video. Head on over to IXL. If you need more practice, come on back and visit us. I will be working a few more. Let's go ahead. So it says the radius of a circle is 6. The first thing I need to do, you got it, find my area. Area equals pi times radius squared. My radius from the middle of a circle to any outer edge, it is 6 squared, keeping it in terms of pi. Let's go ahead and simplify. 6 times 6 is 36. My area is equal to 36 pi. The formula that I've taught you to use so far is going to be part over whole times your area. Good job, good job. Memory is the key to math. Memorize what we were just doing. It's going to be the same thing over and over. More than likely, you will use this tool again and again. So let's go ahead and do this, okay? What is the part of the arc? 180. What is the degree of the entire circle? Always 360. My skateboarders know that. Do us 360. We're going to times that. 36 pi. Keeping the value in terms of pi, let's go ahead and go to our calculator. Are you ready? Clear, clear, clear. Let's go ahead and enter this. Remember, a part over whole is nothing more than division. So this is technically saying 180 divided by 360. So let's go ahead and add, um, enter in our command. 180 divided by 360. 
we're going to enter that command. We're going to times that by 36, keeping this in terms of pi. So times 36. My answer is going to be 18 pi. So let's head on over to IXL and see if they like that answer. Keeping it in terms of pi. Let's submit. Yes, we got another one correct. Okay, ready to do one more? This time I'm going to go a little bit slower, let you come up with the answer, see how you do. Okay, I'll walk you through. Are you ready? Get your calculators. Area. Formula. What is your radius? If you said two, you are correct. What is your area? Simplify, please. Did you say four pi? Nice job, nice job. What is the formula I am using? Perfect. If you said part over whole, excuse me, part over whole, you are correct. What is the part of the arc? 135. What is the whole degree of a circle? 360. What do I times that by? Great job. I'm going to let you go ahead and find that answer right now. Stop this video. Come on back when you have an answer and let's see how you did. If you are back, so we're going to go ahead and grab our calculators. Let's push some clear buttons and let's take a look at this. We're going to enter in 135 divided by 360. We're going to enter that in there. We're going to times that by 4. Remember keeping it in terms of pi. It's going to be 1.5 pi. If that is what you got on your calculator, congratulations to you. I give you a high five. 1.5 pi. Let's go ahead and submit that. See what IXL says. And they said we did a fantastic job. I hope you guys have found some goodness in this lesson today. I am going to do a few more. Um, I like to try to keep my videos as short as possible because attention spans these days. But there's a necessary piece that I wanted to talk about before you go into um, doing ones like this. So let me go ahead. Again, area equals pi times radius squared. <clears throat> okay, when you're finding the area of a circle, area equals pi times radius squared, what do you do if you have a diameter of 6? Taking back a couple of years, so diameter is the full measure straight across of your full circle. It's like taking a paper plate and putting it straight in half. That crease that you would have would be the diameter. So my radius is going to be half. So if my diameter is six, what is half of six? Nice job. That is the only additional step that you have. Making, making sure that you are um, taking care of your details on diameter and radius. So this is going to be three squared. Three times three is nine. Area equals pi times 9, or 9 pi. Let's go ahead and do the part over whole. Are you ready? Part over whole, please. Part of the arc over the whole degree of a circle. I got you. Good job. Good job. And let's go ahead and take this times 9 pi. Stop right here. Find yourself a calculator. Do the math and then come back. Pause the video if you need to. But we are back and ready to go. Here we are. So let's go ahead and enter this amount. 48, check your work, divided by 360. And then we're going to uh, times that by 9. Keep it in terms of pi and enter. My answer is going to be 1.2. Let's come on over. 1.2. 1.2 pi it is. So some of you are, are probably wondering, well, how do I know when to keep it in terms of pi and when not to? Well, in IXL, when they give you the option to put a pi in there, on the ACT, it'll say keep in terms of pi. So it'll literally say in the instructions, in terms 
of pi in terms of pi. And so whenever you do that, you're going to answer with a pi. So if you guys have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day.